Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Let's Play of uh, Mechanical Mastery. Uh, in the last episode, we set this magma crucible to change our power system. Um, by the way, I told you it would keep up, and it does if you tell it to do auto input enabled. All right, now everything should be fine for power. This guy will be backfilling, and everything should be good. Wow, that's a weird... Uh, thing it does when this guy heats up or something. I'm not sure why it goes on and off. Alright, anyway. What are we going to do this episode? Well, I want to get into some basic mechanism. So let's get some osmium. And we can't uh, use this in a pulverizer, but we can put this into a smelter. And we'll get us some osmium going. So, oopsie. So let's go ahead and kick that up, because I want one of these, the Metallurgic Infuser. This will be useful for many things in mechanism. So let's go ahead and get one of those. That's enough osmium to start with. Alright, so that will let me build a Metallurgic Infuser. Where are we at on the Tier 3 basic quest? Um, getting mechanized? Yep. Metallurgic Infuser, okay. We need to get one of these basic control circuits. Uh, we will need some of those for later on. Don't know I'm going to do the mechanism power gen. I guess we'll see later on. For now, though, I think our power is fine. So, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and work towards this guy. Uh, first thing I want to do is turn off my battery. Okay. If he is active when I start crafting this, he is going to charge all of these things. I don't, I don't want him to. So I want one of these guys. Requires one of these guys. Which requires this guy. And that requires a couple of these energy tablets and a steel casing. I think I did stick a stack of steel in here. Yep, there we go. So let's get that. We need um, some of this infused alloy. And we can get that from the metallurgic infuser. So I'm going to take a stack of this redstone. And let's see, let's go right over here to the end. And let's put a pipe down. There we go. There's some power. And now I want to dump all the redstone in there. And then we'll get a stack of iron, which should be right here. Maybe, yeah, a stack should be fine. Uh, unlike the thermal expansion machines, the mechanism machines have no limit on how much power they can draw at once. So you can speed them up as fast as you can supply power, which is kind of nice. All right, grabbed a little bit more redstone for this guy. Go ahead and dump that in there, and we'll just kick him up and make him go a little bit faster. Um, I don't know how much this I need, but let's get a quarter stack to start with, and we'll get more later on. Okay, so that's good for a start. So we need uh, two of these. All right. Then we need a steel casing, and that will make us this basic energy cube. Now the advanced energy cube requires two more of these. I'm going to get two more. And there we go, advanced energy cube just requires the infused alloy. And then we need to get the reinforced alloy for this guy. This is going to require uh, diamonds. And I think we need diamond dust or enhanced diamond or something. I don't know what that is, so we'll have to figure out that later. But I can uh, infuse the infused alloy with diamonds to get reinforced alloy. Uh, reinforced whatever. So I think we need four diamonds for how much I actually need. So I'm going to put that in the pulverizer. And how are you doing? You are almost done. Okay. So if I want to put a different catalyst in him, I'm going to have to dump this redstone. I guess I didn't need the other stack, but it's fine. We can get tons of redstone. Redstone is not a problem. 
So I'm going to dump this diamond dust in here. I think we can get two of these. Is that how many I need? I need four. We need two, we need four more diamonds then. Yeah, I thought it was four. I, I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Pick him up, get the diamond dust, and kick him into high gear too. There we go. That's the four that I should need to make a decent mid-tier generator. Okay, so all I need now are two more of these. And then we can get the Elite Energy Cube. Nice. All right, so... What I want to do is have this guy in the center, and he's going to be my actual energy generator, or my actual energy buffer. And then this guy is going to live here. And the reason for that is that laser IO cannot take power from one of these pipes. I can't put the um, laser node right on this pipe, but I can put it on an energy cell. So once we get laser I.O. to transfer, we'll take all the power from generators, put it in this first power backup, and then take all the power from here and dump it into this guy, and then go from this guy up to all the machines. So that's what I want to work on next. So to get started, I'm going to want a bunch of laser I.O. nodes and a bunch of uh, laser nodes. Or energy cards. So I want to get at least nine of these laser nodes. So let's get some of those going. Let's put him back on the bookmarks. And how many of these can I get? I can get three right now. I probably need more of those logic chips. Okay. Uh, I can make half a stack right now. What's my limiting reagent? Clay. Okay. Let's get another stack of clay in here. There we go. Wait, that's not right either. I wanted the full stack. Redstone. I've got plenty of redstone. I even have plenty in that chest. I just have it in block form. But... I'll just uh, go grab this for now. Okay, try that again. There we go. There's the stack that I wanted. So let's go ahead and chuck him in there. Uh, why are we out of power? Oh, uh, this guy is not set to output. Uh, duh, 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 what side are you? Okay, so you should be an input, is that right? Yeah. And then you are an output. Now is there power again? Okay, good. All right, uh, you need to cook those up first. All right, there we go. There's my stack of logic chips. Chuck that down in the chest. All right, so that all looks good. Let's make some laser nodes. I need more of this, these glass panes. We'll get a stack of that. Okay, there we go, there's laser nodes. All right, now I need energy cars. Before I get that, I want something else from Laser. I want uh, this guy, the card holder. He is a very useful device. Because if I shift right click to activate him, any card I make will go right into his inventory. So we want to make energy cards. I need at least 10, maybe 11 of these. How many can we make right now? 25. Okay, 12 is a good start. They don't stack in your inventory, so this is a great way to have them right here. Okay, so uh, 
by default, they are an insert in channel zero. That's what we're going to want for most of these devices. So I'm going to start by breaking all of the power cables. That's going to mine everything and kill all the power, but it's fine. We don't need power from that right now. So let's take all of the laser nodes. And then I'm not going to worry about these machines. I'll let them die for now. And once we rebuild this, we'll get uh, them back up and running. Okay. All right. So uh, I would like a laser node right... Why can't you be right there? I need some platform material. Dirt me, please. I can't place him on, on the top without a frame block for some reason. I don't know why that is. All right, why are you guys still down here? There we go. Okay, so uh, my plan is to use the laser cards. We're going to insert all of the power from the mag, mag dynamos into the power cell. We're then going to extract with the laser node on channel one in this guy. So you, the downside is going to be an insert on one. And that should be good for that. Where's my laser wrench? Okay. And then you, on the downside, are going to be an extract of one. Okay, you are gaining power, you are not. So you are down. You are inserting on one. Down. Okay, you are on one. You still seem broken. Why are you broken? Because the top side is not configured to be an input. Is that the problem? Hmm. Still no. Hang on. What's up with this? Because input is red, not blue. There we go. Now this guy is good. So we don't have to kick this back up there. We've got this already there to that first node upstairs. So that is fine for that. So now I want to have you on the downside be an extract as well. I don't know if this guy is sighted as far as energy input and output limits. So we might go ahead and do a sneaky side for this. So we might um, extract on channel zero on the downside. And then the side config will be an output. I think that should work, although it's all I don't see two lasers. I thought I'd see two lasers there for that. Maybe because they're both energies. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. So, do any of these guys have no power? This guy has no power. So, yeah, let's um, let's give you an insert of energy. Ah, you work right away. Okay, so I think that suggests that the energy transfer is working now. So, let's put cards in all of these guys. There we go. Energy for you. Energy for you. You don't need any energy. Uh, this is the south side, I think. Yep. South is energy. South is energy. South is energy. Okay, all of these machines should now be powered. Why aren't you getting any power? Is it because we're not making any power? No, we're inputting power. It's because none of the laser items are connected. Only this guy is. So let's go fix that too. Um, let's go downstairs. And I want to fix uh, that laser node right there. I want to select him. 
and I want to break the connection to this guy and put to this guy. And then we go to all of these and bind all of them. All right, there we go. Power. Yeah, okay. Now I think that is working. We'll have to do that for this too, but I think we'll probably just rebuild this system and uh, we'll do it over here and we'll start working on improvements to work on the second tier of essence, the regular mechanical essence. So at the moment we are losing EMC, but not too much because we're not really doing that much. We're only uh, draining power and probably some soul sand over here. We can probably stop with the soul sand for now. Oh, wow, we got a lot of quartz right now. So, yeah, let's uh, let's have you stop extracting for right now. Let's let's just go ahead and uh, make that guy stop for the time being. Okay, so that should be good for our power. We'll have power for quite a while. So. What do we need to do to make this all work? Um, to get the tier two of essence, we need to automate more materials. We're going to have to get uh, bronze and invar because that's one of the ingredients in this. So bronze requires copper and tin. We're already making copper, but we're not making tin. So we need another furnace to make tin. We're already getting steel. We need an induction smelter dedicated to that, but the pyrolyzer makes our uh, coal coke. So that's the only thing we need for that other than iron, which we're already making. We need invar, which also requires iron, so we may have to upgrade the iron guy. And we also need nickel. We need a furnace for that. And finally, we're going to need one of these mixing guys. So we need like two furnaces, three multi-servo presses, uh, an induction smelter, or three, I think. Yeah, we need all those things. So let's start building those things. Let's get uh, three induction smelters. Put that on the list. Um, I think I'm going to build like six machine frames. I think we're going to need six of these things, but I'll find out shortly. Okay, um, we're building three of these, so we need six Invar gears. Uh, we'll go ahead and make six of these for all the machines to match the machine frames. And we're going to need uh, some smooth stone. We can use this chisel to get smooth stone from stone. So we'll just go ahead and chisel that. And we can always chisel it back if we don't want the smooth stone. So, a bit of a cheese, but that's eh, fine. Okay, I want three blast furnaces for my three induction smelters. And there we go. I know I need two more redstone furnaces. So, let's get those. I'll need four bricks. And I'll need... Um, what am I missing for that? All right, I don't know what I did there. Okay, there's my two redstone furnaces, and we need three multi-servo presses. Let's put that on the list. We need three blocks of iron. We need three... Uh, we've already got those. Um, I only have one machine frame. Okay. Let's get more machine frames and more of these guys. I'm not sure how much constantin we have. We have pretty much none. Okay, that's copper and nickel. Let's go get a stack of that cooking. Here's my nickel. Should have copper over here. There we go. Where's my next one? Here, right here. Nope, right here. Okay, copper and nickel. Let's kick him up. And we need a bit of bronze. I don't know how much bronze we have either. 
We've got 17. That's probably enough bronze for everything we're doing. Yeah, I think it's just a constant we're missing now. So let's see here. I think 32 is more than enough. Hey, I told you to go there. Nobody, that's who. All right, so we need six of these gears. I think that's the three multi-servo presses we need. I need one more gear working die. Let's get one more of those. Needs a gold gear. And some Envar plates. All right, this might be everything. Um, I will double check, but I think that's everything to automate the production of the regular mechanical essence. We're going to salvage some of the stuff over here. We need to keep this system going, obviously, because we need it to make the basic essence that we'll use in our recipe. And we still haven't made that mechanical um, mixer to mix the final product. But uh, that'll be step two. So that's what we'll do when we come back next time. For now, it's wrapping up point. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons and come back and see us next time when we will do something else. Thanks for watching. See you then.